Right, in one of my last videos I showed a couple of these devices here and um, said I'd be doing a video um, to show exactly what they're used for. Um, in that video um, I didn't show the full finished product and a couple of you tried to guess what it was for and were very close. Um, but what I've made here is a um, handheld bolt action 0.22 rim fire blank cartridge firing um, dummy launcher for training gun dogs. So it's used for um, firing a dummy like this or like these here over a certain distance um, for the dog to retrieve um, but it also gets the um, gun dog used to the sound of gunfire. So it's not classified as a firearm and neither can it be used as one. It's made in such a way that there's um, not a straight through barrel in which a round can be fired. Um, as far as I know you can get three different powered um, blank cartridges, so like three different lengths. And these are used to actually vary the actual distance that the dummy will be fired over. And I've made it as a multi-purpose tool as well, um, but I'll just show you a clip of it firing this dummy over a distance of about 60 yards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now when we were firing that there was a bit of a recoil and a bit of um, a blast back onto my hand um, but you can get over that by putting a disc around here, um, a flash disc or anti-flash disc to actually stop the blast back but um, I wanted to keep mine as small as possible and um, it doesn't really bother me but if it did I'd just wear gloves. Now another use I have for this device is a trip line mine and this is used to scare off intruders. The um, device can actually be um, zip tied to a tree or a gate post or whatever and a trip line attached to the bolt action um, set over a certain distance whenever the intruder or animal goes through the um, trip line it will fire the cartridge, scare off the intruder and hopefully alert the property owner. And in that mode I have this end here again so that it's not classified as a firearm. The blast ports are all round the diameter so that there's no way a shot can be fired. And if you have any problem with um, thieves or anything in a great way you can actually put a bag of paint over there with an elastic band and when it goes off the intruder or thief will be absolutely splattered. And in that mode of use you can actually use it to secure a designated area such as a camp base and again protect yourself from people or wild animals such as bears. And I know you can get these um, trip line mines in um, 12 bore um, shotgun cartridge type um, but in Britain you'd have to have a license to get the 12 bore cartridges. Um, this one being 2-2, uh, you don't have to have a license to get these uh, blank uh, firing cartridges and obviously they're a lot cheaper to buy. So this is how it goes together. This is the um, 
rim fire uh, firing pin mechanism that just screws into the end there up to a certain point and then you just um, use one of these tools here to lock that up It's a simple bolt action. Um, this is the hammer and a spring guide turned on the back of that one. You can drop that one down from the back and push it down. I'll use the spring to push that down. And just get that hole lined up that one screws into that so that's the bolt action spring drops in the back and then you can screw the cap in the back there if you're using it in the trip line mine mode. Um, this one here screws in the back and this is a handle plus it also tensions the spring slightly so that's cocked and firing and you can see the hardened um, firing pin on the end there. Next is the split aluminium clamp that I showed being made on the Chinese mini lathe the other day. Incidentally, um, I made all of this on the Chinese mini lathe. And sometimes people um, ask me, they say, why on earth have you got a Chinese mini lathe? Well, if you can make um, precision components like this on the Chinese mini lathe then why not have one? And on that clamp um, mechanism um, I've actually put this brass um, trigger assembly It's a very simple um, trigger assembly um, but I want to be able to use it um, in the cold when wearing gloves. So that's it um, all clamped up in its correct position and you can see um, it's very simple in its um, operation. A nice um, disc there for the thumb to fit onto and then cocking and this is firing so I put a simple brass um, bracket on the back of that um, split clamp screwed that one on I've soldered a couple of blocks on each end on the inside there this is so that when it goes onto a tree or a gatepost or whatever you can put the zip ties through there and there's no chance of them actually slipping off and also if you want to um, when you come to take the um, um, trip mine away you can actually slide them out from that gap and actually save the zip ties. I've also put two holes in there with countersunk. Um, that's if you want to use self-tapping screws. And the actual bracket um, lets the um, trip mine to stand a bit proud so that you can actually unscrew the um, firing end and reload. 
Now the breech end, as you can see, is um, central this end. The actual firing pin is offset, but this end is offset. And I machined that out, um, made the offset plug, and actually screwed that one in with Loctite 638, so there's no way that can come out. And there's no way that a hard object can be fired through that barrel. So then, um, whatever 2-2 two -two round you choose, um, you stick into the breech there and screw that one on the end. And then the dummy slides down over this O-ring and is ready um, to cock and fire. And if you're making one of these, you just turn this end here um, to suit whatever tubing you're using. Um, I used the aluminium tubing from a tripod. The tubing must be seam free, um, otherwise it'll blow apart or could damage this o-ring here. This, like I say, is nice lightweight aluminium, but you could also use the um, ordinary copper piping that you get in plumbing. And you machine one o-ring groove at the end here, so that it's a nice um, slip fit. It has to be just right, you can actually feel when it's right. And you can also use silicon grease on that one. And the tubing that actually goes up into the um, dummy, um, you turn a piece of aluminium about that depth, um, put it in with Loctite 638, so it's forward weighted and blocked off for the actual blast. And just before I go, I'd just like to mention uh, another couple of uses I have for this um, device. Um, this bracket here, I hope to mount a fishing reel at some point and see whether it will fire a fishing line over a certain distance. This could be used in fishing or it could be used to fire a guideline up over tree branches to pull a heavier rope up and may be used in things like tree surgery. And to finish off I bought this um, latex dog toy and converted it into a dummy and I hope to try this out in the future and see how it performs. And this lovely mallard. Okay. That's it. <laughs>